Hi guys, welcome to this video where I'll be showing you Linux Mint 16. So obviously Linux Mint is a Linux build and the latest version, version 16, was released about a week ago. And there are two different versions of version 16, and that is Cinnamon and Mate, or M-A-T-E. Both are free and can be easily downloaded from linuxmint.com. So this video is going to be focusing around Linux Mint 16 Cinnamon. A full list of features can be found by clicking the link on screen now. So to begin with, the video is going to be showing you about how to install it, and how to get it going on your computer if you haven't installed Linux before. First thing to do is to go to linuxmint.com by clicking the button on the screen now and this page will load. Next all you need to do is hit the download button on the right hand side and if we scroll down we can see the download links for Cinnamon 32-64 bits, uh, Mate 64 and 32 bits and obviously the other variations of each build such as no codecs and OEM. So for now what we're going to do is we're going to download the 64-bit Cinnamon version so you can either download it by a mirror uh, at your nearest location or you can download it by torrent and the download is about 1.2 gig so once downloaded you'll end up with this ISO file here and you just need to burn that to a DVD uh, and boot off it so for the purpose of this video I'm using a virtual machine this configured virtual machine is running 8 gig of RAM and 4 cores so first thing I'm going to do is power on the virtual machine and now it's going to automatically boot off the DVD because of it not having an OS already installed. So as you can see it's booted off by itself. And it'll say automatic boot in so many seconds. Or you can hit enter and hit start Linux Mint. So once it boots you'll end up with this sort of screen and this is running off the live CD so it will be quite slow however it does give you a feel for what Linux Mint is like so for example there's several programs that you can run off the CD what we're going to do now is install Linux Mint on the hard disk so we don't have to boot off the DVD each time and lose the settings so to install it all you need to do is hit the install Linux Mint button on your desktop and the install wizard will appear. So we need to hit English, hit continue, and these are the prerequisites that we need to make sure that it installs properly and you can see that it has at least 7.8 gig of available drive space and is also connected to the internet. So that's fine. If you have Windows installed at this point it will say that you have obviously Windows installed and it will ask you what you want to do. So for now what we want to do is erase the disk and install Linux Mint that's because we have no detected operating systems on this machine so you've got to just bear in mind that this will erase anything on the hard disk and you'll lose any data so next hit install and now what we need to do is choose where we are so at the minute we're in London so we can hit continue but obviously if you're somewhere else then you can move across um, there So next we need to choose the keyboard layout, it's selected that automatically because of where we are. And obviously you can test your keyboard, keyboard layout here. And hit continue. Next we need to type in your name, so we, at the minute we can type in Ben's Tech Tips. And it's given it a computer name uh, as it's detected the username here. So it's called Ben's Tech Tips Virtual Machine. We're going to leave that as default for now, however you can change it. And this is the name that it will have when appearing on the network. So pick a username, we'll leave that as so. Please note you can't have any capitals in the username. So what we can do is now pick a password. And there are a couple of different options here that allow you to change. So for example, the login automatically button will obviously log you in automatically when the computer boots up or require my password to log in which is the default setting which we should tick really to make sure that the computer is secure 
and hit continue and as you can see it is now installing Linux Mint so here there are several intro screens that we can choose from and I'll just explain a few things about what software you can have uh, and such and installation will take around 5 to 10 minutes depending on the speed of your machine and how quickly it can access the disk so once installation is completed it will show a message on screen uh, asking you whether you want to continue testing or restart now so we're going to hit restart now to make use of the new installation So now Linux Mint has booted, we can click on the username here and type a password in to log on. And as you can see it says welcome to Linux Mint. So if we hit close, we are now in the new installation. Obviously now you need to go and install drivers for the new installation. If you're using a virtual machine this can be done automatically using your software. However if you're using it on a physical machine you'll need to install the drivers. This can be done by clicking on the menu and on the right hand side going down to the drive manager and entering your password So once all the drivers are installed on Linux Mint, you'll be able to run all your hardware properly and run the screen resolution at the highest settings. So now what I'm going to do is just show you around some of the basic settings and some of the basic apps and stuff. So at the bottom left we have menu, which is essentially a start button for Windows. And under here we have several different options for apps. So for example we have the all applications menu where we can see all the apps we have installed at the minute. And obviously you can sort of narrow the, the search down by going to the accessories graphics internet tab. And also you can search, so for example we can type in Firefox. And Firefox will be displayed because that's the app that we just searched for. So if we head over to Firefox now, and as soon as that loads, we can see that the internet works fine. And if we click on help and about Firefox, we can see that we're running version 24. And this version of Firefox is designed specifically for Linux Mint, as you can see here. So under the internet option, we also have several different uh, other programs such as the desktop sharing app which allows you to remotely view your desktop the Firefox web browser which I just showed you the internet messenger which is called Pigeon Thunderbird mail for emails uh, Transmission which is basically a torrent client and we also have XChat under the graphics tab we have a few different programs and one of the main ones is GIMP which is a free image editor which you may have already used and this is a nice little program to edit photos in easily which is like a Photoshop alternative which is free. Next under the Office tab we have applications such as LibreOffice which has a uh, base which is sort of an access alternative. We also have LibreOffice Calc which is essentially Excel. Draw which allows you to draw flowcharts and drawings Impress, which is like uh, PowerPoint, and Writer, which is like Word. So, a quick sample of the LibreOffice Writer. And that loads fairly quick. Under the Sound and Video tab, we have Banshee, Brazero, the Videos app, and the VLC Media Player app. 
So under the preferences tab we have different options to configure Bluetooth, desktop sharing, discs, displays, network and other many different options. Next is the administration tab where we can choose different options such as backup, drivers and login information. And on the left here we have uh, sort of pinned options which are basically um, programs that you use often. So for example we have Firefox on there and uh, chat and settings. So what you could do is add another program such as LibreOffice Writer and that could be in the pinned options so every time we go to the menu we can easily click that without having to search for it. Thanks for watching this video, please like, rate, comment and subscribe and check out my website at benstactips.co.uk